All right, everybody. So, thanks for uh, watching this video. Um, what we're looking at is a V-block calibration gauge for the SIP bed knife grinder using the uh, V-block pallet. Um, as you can see, it's got two dial indicators and it's fully adjustable. Uh, you can slide it back and forth uh, depending on the uh, type of bed knife that you have inside the inside the bed knife grinder. Um, all right, so what we're doing here is we've mounted our bed knife inside the uh, grinder, and what we're now doing is moving the stone out of the way, and then we're going to adjust the bed knife so that the uh, the trough of the bed knife is just on the opposite side of the stone. So in other words, the stone's going to overhang the uh, the top face of the bed knife uh, just barely into the trough. Um, so once he's got that set, then he's going to lock the pallet down so it doesn't slide back and forth. Um, one of the biggest issues that, that we found um, was that when you go to lock it down, it can be a few thousandths off because on the very bottom there's some round steel stock that it sits on and um, even though you're tightening a kind of a v-block up against this that metal it it still doesn't sit perfectly straight in a line so we utilize this tool um, by putting it on the shaft and then we are touching off on the bar now this bar here is is where the v-block pallet um, is calibrated from so we're measuring to make sure that it's in a perfectly straight line from one end to the next. So what he's doing here is he is setting zeros. So this is the end that we have no control over. It's our fixed end. And so he's setting that that dial indicator to zero for that direction. Then to do the top, he's also going to zero it out uh, so we have something to go by. Okay. Uh, you'll notice also that he has the uh, pallet centered, um, and that's so that we don't move the pallet back and forth putting the gauge on, and so we can put it on both sides without having to move the pallet at all. Um, so now we'll put it on the other side, and we're going to see where it is. Okay. So you'll notice that on the top, it looks like it's a few thousandths off and needs to be adjusted. And then in order to adjust the top, what you do is you loosen the, uh, the little block that holds the pallet from sliding back and forth. And then there is an adjustment screw on the bottom of that pallet to raise the height of it slightly. Um, and what we do is we'll turn, that, uh, we'll turn that adjustment a little bit past, so maybe a thousandth or two, because then once you tighten it back up, um, it will get to zero. So it's really just uh, trying to fine tune how many thousands you need to be passed so that when you tighten it up, it, it comes back to zero. So, um, so he's going to go ahead and set that. Tightened it up and now we are at zero. Okay, so then we want to check the other side and the other side is at zero so we don't the only the only one we really have to adjust there was the uh, was the top so that's what the uh, that's what the gauge is there to do it's there to make sure that when we you know if you looked in one of my prior videos I used a shaft uh, to set everything up and then put the bed knife on there and you know what I was finding is my guys wouldn't do that every time so by using this gauge it's very easy for them to check and make sure that we are grinding the bed knife perfectly straight top and front face every time um, you know I want to thank Mark Pilger from SIP uh, if you've read on my website um, I also thanked him there for uh, really listening to some of the uh, issues that we see or or not really issues but ways to improve the product um, you know I think he really put this together in about two weeks um, and and had it sent to us to to try out and and make sure it did exactly what we wanted to um, 
you know, that's one of the things that I enjoy doing is being able to uh, to help uh, all the manufacturers with products if if I see an opportunity to uh, to fix it. So I hope I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.